All right, hi everybody, welcome back to another Ship With Me video. I just got um, back from like a high school sporting event, not a football game, but I was like, there was like downtime during it. And then so I literally just went through my Poshmark closet and selected like 300 listings and set out 30% off offers. So I'm just gonna go ship these out right now. So these were like other sales that happened throughout the day. So let's just go ahead and get started. So this sat for like over a year and I'm happy to see it go. So this is the brand Universal Standard and this was new with Hags. So every time I found this brand, I feel like more times than not, like, okay, I'll say like 80% of the time I found it, it's been new with tags. So yeah, uh, but anyways, uh, sometimes it sells okay for me and then sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's why I first, uh, I found two tops from this brand and then I found this one and all three of them were new with tags on the same day. So... I went ahead and got um, all of them. And this is the second one to sell, so I need to probably adjust my pricing on the other one. Cause there's no reason for something that's like not a high dollar item to be sitting for over a year, in my opinion. But who knows, this was my, I don't know how the brand would do, but I have found it since then and have since sold it, but it's usually been uh, new with hacks. So I'm about to run out of paper too, which is like a little bit annoying because I haven't ordered my new paper yet, so I need to go do that after I'm done with this. So, um, my earnings on this were fifteen or fifteen dollars and fifty eight cents, and my profit was ten dollars, a little bit over ten dollars actually. But yeah, so and actually, so this is just po I have one eBay sale from today, um, but this is from just Poshmark. But my average sale price was $33.43 and I actually thought it was going to be higher but I have one sale in here that like probably like dropped the average by a lot so I guess I'm not, can't be like too surprised I guess. So I don't know, I mean I probably looked this up again but I'm not sure if I pick it up again but uh, it's just kind of hard to say new tags to like a decent brand sometimes so but I definitely would not pick this up pre owned I know that. Okay. All right, this was a super, super exciting sale. So I got, I was just like on the new rack at Goodwill and I just like found this scarf that has this coolest print ever. And I just felt really nice like silk and I checked and it was actually the brand, designer brand, Bottega Veneta. And I paid like a dollar and 50 cents for this, which was like insane. So it listed this for a hundred dollars. It did have like a small flaw to it. Um, I'm gonna use one of these, I reuse these, so it's gonna crinkle. it out but I listed it for a hundred dollars and I sent out the offers for seventy dollars with this kind of shipping uh which was accepted so I was really happy about that um a person before uh, this person an, a separate person the person that bought it was uh just accepted it they never tried to send me an offer or anything like that but they tried to send me a sixty dollar offer and I just I did not want to accept sixty dollars for it this was probably like maybe a month or two ago and I just wanted to hold out for like 70 so I got that and I'm happy I did. So my earnings were $53.98 and I probably made about $52 and around like 50 cents. So that's amazing. Um, I was so excited when I found this. So it was my first time finding the brand, but I mean, they're known for like, I guess like their, uh, almost like basket weed design. And I was watching a, like, for handbags and stuff, basket weave design leather handbags. And I was watching, like, a, um, rate the quality of, like, this designer brand video. And Bottega Veneta was rated number one. So, um, there's that, I guess. But I'm not sure, if, like, that was a scarf, so, yeah. Okay, these sold really fast, and I'm happy they did, because they are a swim short. But they are, I thought, uh, they are new with tags. Um, I got this at Goodwill, like, maybe two weeks ago. And I listed them, like, about a week ago. And they were kind of like an oversaturated style. So since they're new tags, it was about $32 and we're moving out of the swim season. So I, my bot sent an offer for 26, my bot, I mean like my robot, I use the F, Philip F, F, L, Y, P because it's free and I like it. So, um, but if it wasn't free, I probably wouldn't use it just because the only thing I don't like about it is 
you can't, it doesn't automatically relist your items, but it's fine. But it does share my closet and send out offers, which is what I use the most. So I did not think Posture VA was worth the $100 for the amount of months I was uh, doing it for. Actually, it was more than $100, like well over $100. So anyways, but my earnings were $18.28. So my profit was around $15, which I was happy with for a fast sale. And I'm happy they don't sit for the winter time. But I mean, people do buy swim year round because um, people go on vacations and things like that. So I'm, I mean, swim does sell better in the summer for at least for me, but it's, I'm not like too concerned when it comes to like swim stuff and some stuff does sell out of season, but usually I'm selling more in season items, if that makes sense. Okay. So this is a bundle sale, which I don't normal I don't get that often. But this is a uh, wool skirt from Max Mara. This is the thing that brought down my average. Um, this had a flaw to it, like a moth hole, but it was my first time finding Max Mara, so I wanted to get it. And then this is a Patagonia base layer. Both these items I would not pick up again, but they are items I got, I think I got, I got for like a dollar or half off. I both got them in Springfield, Illinois, which is kind of um, funny, but like uh, maybe a year apart, so. Um. I'm not sure what my bundle price was when they were added together, but it was not high. Um, I was offered 20 and I saw like the offer and I was like, you know, whatever the offer is, I'm accepting that because these are items I've had for a while and I would not pick up again. Um, so yeah, Maximara, I've sold a Maximara like wool coat for $150, but other every, any other time I've sold Maximara, it just has not done like that well for me so but their wool coats do very 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 well so all right my earnings were $16 my profit was 14 so around $7 an item which is just not what I'm looking for these days or really any day so uh but I'm happy to move more items out so I hope they like the items because I think it honestly might be a reseller that bought these, like, but because she had some like other brands and her closet priced high and it like looked like she like bought stuff online to flip them, but I'm going to wish her the best of luck with those. And I hope that she, if she does, I mean, maybe she's wearing them for herself. Who knows? I don't know, but, um, I hope she makes a profit. All right. These are the brand Boyish, B-O-Y-I-S-H. And these are like a straight leg distressed jean. I got these at the Buy Sell Trade Store just because I hadn't found the brand before and I wanted to try it out. And I have found it at the Buy Sell Trade Store since then, but I have not picked it up because these did not do that well. I picked them up in March and they, I listed them for, I think, 65. I dropped the price to 50, sent out the 30% off offer, and I, they sold for uh, $35 with discounted shipping. So they did sell. Um, my profit was $25.98. So I paid $15 for these at the Buy Sell Trade Store. So, but... I used in-store credit, and I am estimate that every for every $20 I make there, I spend $5 on the items I bring in. Um, so, I wrote down my cost because that's $5, but it was probably a little bit lower than that. So, I wouldn't pay up this brand, but I would pay probably under $5 for it. So, um, there says $25 as well, so a little bit of a smaller size. But So, I my earnings were uh, $20.98, which I'm so happy with. So, not bad, but, like, not, like, amazing. Um, I wish they sold a little bit faster, but I found these with a whole bunch of girlfriend jeans. G-R-L-F-R-N-D, I think, or something similar to that. Um, it's really, like, I'm tired, so I don't, not the best at spelling right now. But some of those have not sold either, so I don't think I'll pay up for those. This brand and girlfriend moving forward, but, um... It is totally fine. Okay. Hmm. All right, this was a good sale. Actually, so Heather, I know you're watching this. So this is a Beck Lafice. You might remember this from our box swap, but it's like this blazer coat jacket, um, oversized plaid. I just knew this would sell in the fall. I almost listed it for $100, but I listed it for 85. And it's so like, I sent out a 30% off offer on this. Um, just because I've had it listed for, I'm mean, not forever, but just a little bit. And it sold, and I was like, oh, great. Like, that sold. Um, you know, I'm happy to sell it. But I look, and it actually sold for full price. 
So I guess somebody, like, as soon as I sent him an offer, somebody was just happened to search for the item and accepted it. So I listed it for 85, but I almost listed it at 100. Just because comps work good on this item. I don't think that this for every piece from this brand does good, but this, I guess, had good comps. I've never found it or sold it before. Actually, well, I found it at, like, TJ Maxx, but, like, and Plato's Closet, but they haven't been items I wanted to pay up for or pick up, so, um, this was a first time for me. So, my profit was $68, so thank you, Heather, because I think I've had something in her, like, uh, in a box swap that she sent me in the past, like, so many videos, like, three videos, and everything's just been, everything from that has just sold for, like, a lot of money, and for, yeah, so I have some, a few things left from that. But they're like the more like designer designer items. So those will probably sell for like close to the hundred dollar mark and take a little bit longer to sell, but we'll have to we'll just have to play it by ear, I guess, because I'm not I'm you cannot predict I do not predict when things are gonna sell. But I do have an idea of when things are gonna sell, but I have no idea what thing I I she gave me like a Celine chunky knit sweater and I think that's my guess of what's gonna sell next. So will it be probably not, but that's just my guess. Alright. So this next item is a, like, just like a, this is a Lululemon tank top. So this, I DIY bleached it myself because my sister got it at Goodwill in Springfield. It was a half up color, but it had a bleach spot on it. And she still wanted it because it has like an open back. So this had several things going for it. This open back style from Lululemon and their tank tops as well for me. And this is a Pima Cotton and Pima Cotton and the brand Lululemon or like really any brand, honestly, for me does so well. Because it's just like a super soft cotton. And I have several Pima cotton items. Well, okay. The Vineyard Vines, like, t-shirt cotton. I like to wear the Vineyard Vines t-shirts for myself. And they never mention that their commas P cotton is Pima. If it's Pima, they just say it's 100% cotton. But they literally feel like Pima cotton. They are... That was probably so loud, so I apologize. But they are like the most softest cotton ever. And same with Pima cotton, it's super, super soft, super high quality, and people know that. So, um, yeah. So I think that's why people like Pima cotton. But this was a Pima cotton tank top, and it had an open back. And so it sold for twenty six dollars, and my profit was about seventeen. So I had discounted shipping on this as well. So very happy with that. And my sister did get a few wears out of it, but she didn't really want it anymore because. Uh, I mean, she couldn't really wear it, like, out and about to, like, around her college campus because she goes to, like, a Christian college. So she wear, would wear it here in the summer, and I guess she didn't really wear it enough to justify uh, keeping it, is what she said. So, all right, I just ran out of paper, but I have, like, this extra roll. So we'll see how far this takes me, but it's brown paper. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm just going to ship this eBay sale when I'm at it. It's a, I meant to put that in one of the, okay. But it's a Citron Santa Monica, like, Really cool printed blouse top. So uh, this sold for $65, I think a few months, or maybe a month or two ago. And it got returned because it was too small. And that had been actually, it was sitting for a while at that point, but it just randomly sold for full price. So I was actually kind of excited. And then it got returned. And then, so I was like sad. Um, I'm actually gonna like cut it and then cut it in half again. But I relisted it and I dropped the price of it because it had been sitting for a while and I got a $25 offer. So I just went ahead and took that. I got this at a consignment store for like, mm, like $5 or something or around there. Um, and so this brand, like, I, I does better in the larger sizes for sure, but I feel like that's a lot, like a lot, lot of brands, but some just brands just do well, like no matter what the piece is, honestly, like, um, no matter the size. So, yeah, very, I'm just happy, I'm happy to see this go, and hopefully it doesn't get returned again, because it is an eBay sale, but we'll just have to see. But this paper is, like, heavy, though, so I don't know, oh well, I don't really care. Um, so let me know your experience with the brand, actually my first time selling it was with Heather the, from Heather the Canary Closet, again, sent me a piece in our first, like, box swap or collab video we ever did, and that sold really fast. And, but I think it was like a kimono and like a size large or something. So that maybe was a or factor. All right, these sold really well. These are a pair of uh, just like cropped leggings from the brand Fall Raven. I'm actually wearing a hat from Fall Raven right now. But it was my first time finding this brand out in the wild. And I was just wasn't expecting them to do this well because they were just cropped leggings. But I listed them for like $75.
and or something 65 75 dollars and i got an offer for 50 dollars which i countered to 60 and they countered back at 56 which i took um i did counter that because they were getting lots of attention um so i think this is the, that is the only thing i countered in this video but otherwise i haven't i've been trying not to counter as much but i still am for some pieces like this if i yeah so i'm just trying for items that have been sitting for like a long time which i consider like over eight months i like pretty much not countered on but items that have been shortly listed like this one that are getting attention and the comps are justifying the my countering price i will a counter on so but they are going off to montana which i'm not surprised about because like montana is like a very like hiking place hiking type place and i think i watched some of these like tiktok thrift haul from montana and it was like absolutely like insane like i just didn't really i guess like there's good finds to be like, found everywhere but they were like finding like brands like Cezanne and like mother and like a whole bunch of like outdoor brands like ibex patagonia yeah so i guess i was just like wow there's like i don't know i just you don't really think of montana when you think of like united states in my opinion you think of like california or like you know new york somewhere but um but there are other states besides those places and i wouldn't really want to live in california or new york anyway so but i don't think I'd, I'd like to go for like to montana for like a vacation because like it is beautiful like from the pictures i've seen i've never been but um i don't think i want to like live there necessarily but but again i just i don't know what really what i'm talking about right now but it's fine all right this was a pair of ag adriana goldschmied um like skinny slim straight ankle corduroy green jeans so i got these like at the end of winter last year and see this is so much slower when i have to like manually cut the paper it's fine um and they took obviously so i didn't sell and i sent out a 22 dollar offer with this kind of chipping which they accepted so AG Corduroy hasn't done like all that well for me, honestly. So, uh, or just Corduroy in general. But it did sell. My prop, my earnings were fifteen dollars and eighty eight cents. So I estimated that I made like um, thirteen dollars. I think this was the half off color or something. So I am glad to see them move and head out. So happy about that. Um, these are going off to Florida too, which is like kind of surprising. I wouldn't really have, wouldn't have guessed that, but I guess they were corduroy everywhere. Even though it's like, I feel like it'd be hot, but I guess they have a winter too, but definitely not like the winter we have here in the Midwest, but I guess, I guess a temperature you're not used to that is cold is cold, so, all right. This was a pair of like figs and more joggers. I'm trying to stay away from like the figs tops and separates or just like the pants, but the joggers I will still get by themselves. Um, I bet like in a year from now, I won't get the joggers by themselves, but yeah, figs is just kind of a little bit oversaturated in my opinion. So I've been trying to stick with the sets that was still so well for me. And then like the more unique colors, um, but the sets do the best for me, like by far. So I listed these for $35 and I got off for 28 I got an offer for $10 on these like a week ago and I declined that. So honestly, don't be afraid to decline offers because like well, the, the frustrating part was, well, when I was in a bad mood, so sometimes when I'm in a bad mood I, and I get like a bad offer, like it depends on the mood. Sometimes I'll counter, sometimes I'll just decline. And for these, I like just declined. So yeah. Um... Which I don't like, yeah. I mean, I don't regret it because these sold for $28, which was $18 above that offer price. But then when I looked in the person's Poshmark closet, they had like a whole bunch of figs listed for the same price that I did. So I was just like, okay, I'm assuming you want a good deal or something. And then to be able to like sell the item when you're done with it or whatever. But like, be a little bit serious right now. It's fine. They sold. I'm happy. They sold fast. So... But they definitely don't sell like they used to. I used to be able to get like 30, 25 to 30 dollars for the tops, and now I can get like 15 to 20, 20 dollars if I'm lucky. But um, 
I guess they are selling a little bit. All right. Just, I think, two more items, so that's exciting. Because I'm ready to be done. <sighs> okay. This was a recent pickup, and I still have 30% off for, on it anyway. These are beta brand, just like plaid pants, but they were a d size double, like extra large, but they were all right, or maybe a large. Yeah, extra large, but they were a double petite, so. I didn't really realize that when I picked them up, so that just like, you double petite, like, that's really short. So I uh, went ahead and sent an offer with that for $22 with this kind of shipping. That was accepted, so my profit was 13 but it was a fast sale, so I'm happy about that. But petite is a hard enough to move, but double petite, like, that is just like, I felt like it would be extra hard. I guess it did sell fast, but like... I mean, double petite, like, that's, like, I'm going to have to get, like, a proper size uh, paper for this because like, these aren't going to fit. But double petite, like, that takes it to a little bit of an extreme level that I don't really want to mess with that much. So I'm happy they sold fast. I got lucky. But I feel like next time, well, next time, like, Beta Brand is a brand I've been slowing down on picking up anyway. I passed on it probably, like, Maybe over 50% of the time now, if not 50, maybe 50, if not over 50% of the time. But I got these because they were size extra large and a good print, but I just didn't know that, like, the small, like, they were double petite when I got them, but that's totally fine. Um, they sold. I had the NC measurement in the listing, so this person knows that they are a double petite, so... But I, I feel like it would be hard to find pants if you were, like, really short, like a double petite, so, or even, like, like a tall sizing. People might need, like, a double tall or something, but, um, so I hope they like them. I liked the print. I thought the print was fun. So, uh, I'm not, I mean, I wouldn't pick these up again, but, like, I'm not mad that they were a fast sale, but they were a smaller profit. So, that's right. I like to move out in between, though. So. But I've been trying to, like, accept lower offers on my, like, summer items especially. Just because I want them to be moved out. But, um. I probably picking them up if I think they're going to sell fast. Or if they're going to, like if they're worth like waiting another season for because sometimes like if it's like gonna sell for $20 and it's not gonna sell fast then it's I, in my opinion it's not worth, worth soaring for another season but yeah all right these are Abercrombie Curve Love like stressed high rise black jeans um they were new tags I didn't realize that when I bought them which was an added surprise the tag was on the um inside so I had these list for $85 at one point which is like Honestly, like, way too much, but I think I dropped the price to 75 but they got so much attention. And I had somebody offer to trade, so I looked in their closet, and there was a pair of, like, the birdie shoes. And I was like, oh, like, I actually, like, will, like, never respond. I'll, like, always, like, look in their closet, but usually, like, so I, like, looked in, like, some people's closets sometimes, and it's, like, it'll be, like, I don't really, I don't want to be rude to, like, there'll be, like, bad items in that, but, like, It'll be like Forever 21 and Shein, and they'll be asking to like trade like an $100 item, and I'm, I'll be like, okay, like no. But this person had like a pair of birdie sneakers like within the box. So I was like, oh, like I'll trade for your birdies. And then she like was like, okay, I'll think about it. And she's like, yeah, I actually don't want to trade my birdie. And I was like, then don't even ask, because all the other items were like actually horrible. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so that, yeah, I'm going to probably not respond to trading questions ever again because I usually don't because one, they don't really have stuff that I want. So I usually just will be like, oh, I'm just like looking to sell right now. But this is the only time I actually like was like, okay, like, yeah, I actually have something worth selling that I want to sell. And then they were like, they really pulled like the nevermind card because they 
or she said like they they weren't gonna be her size, but she don't want to try the birdies anyway. Like, just don't even lie about them not being your size. Just be like, okay, I actually don't want to try the birdies. So, whatever. But she could have sold the birdies and then just bought these. But I guess not. Or she could have just traded them like she wanted to was gonna do in the first place. But whatever. I don't care. All right. Anyways, these sold for a fifty-two dollars. My Prop earnings were $39.58, my profit was $35. So Abercrombie jeans, I'm looking to, for the curb love and like not the non-skinny styles, but I do pick them up sometimes if I'm in the mood too. So that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below of a sale that you've had recently, and I will see you guys in the next video.